We are recording. So did you guys ever see that movie, The Princess Bride, when they're getting married? And it's like, marriage, sweet marriage. Marriage, marriage is what brings us together. That's what we're talking about today on the podcast. And, you know, should you get married? Is it worth it for a man? Does it just basically screw you over? You hear all these horror stories. And even more than that, is this whole construct of how we see love and sex and how we share ourselves with the opposite sex totally screwed up. Man, I gotta tell you, today was crazy. I woke up at 8 a.m., went for a run. My family decided to go to San Antonio. Skip the end. And all this stuff, I'm like, man, I'm gonna shoot all these intros to these videos. It's gonna be good, and I did it. And then, Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Look at that. Oh, yeah. See that? See that? That sucks. I'll totally mess up my focus. Huh. So, yeah, that happened. I'm trying to do all this acrobatic stuff and showing off for the camera and so on, but then... Skip to the end. Ooh. They shot. Uh, my wife called me. She said, hey, we're turning back around. Come eat breakfast with us. Imps. Oh. See that? Yeah, Spider-Man sign. And even better is today, it's actually the 3rd of February. It's Super Bowl Sunday and I gotta miss the Super Bowl because my son is doing his finale for his play tonight. My whole background's in theater. How I learned how to do all this stuff, all of the production that you see, that all comes from theater. Man and wife, same man and wife. So when we get to this subject of marriage, what's so important is that we ask a lot of these questions of, is it worth it to be married? You know, when we do the math of it, when we add everything up, when we look at society and culture and we look at the whole spectrum of man and woman and how it all works out, we dive down the rabbit hole of Reddit and YouTube we go, man, marriage isn't worth it. And see, one of the problems with this is that, number one, I agree that in so many ways, it's not worth it. But if we stick to just that, if we stick to just doing the math, we're always gonna get it wrong. We are actually setting ourselves up as men and as a society, as women, to be hit with things that are just gonna blind us. And that's things like love, that's like things like relationships. And it's the overall idea that we could take human choice, human emotions, and human expression and put it into a mathematical equation and expect us to make the right choice. Now I am going to 100% say there are problems with getting married. There are problems as a man where you're gonna fall into certain traps. But if you don't take into account what it means to fall in love, what it means to want to give yourself to somebody, you're gonna fail and you're gonna make the wrong choices and you're gonna end up in one of the biggest traps. If you were to ask me what some of the biggest problems of men's development are, it is this phenomenon right here. When we sit there and we make the most logical, smartest choice, we look at all the scientific research, but we don't account into our own behavior, human behavior, and then our ability to actually judge and assess ourselves, man, we don't know ourselves. Why are we making decisions from that? Your journey to be the strongest man that you can possibly be, it is an absolute requirement that you not only take all the right information out there, but plug it into the you, the you that is tried and true, tested, and hopefully over time evolves and apply it to life. Anyway, I say all this stuff in the podcast, and let's just... Give us the gay key. I have no gay key. I see. Thirty times off. You mean this gay key? Hey guys, my name is Steve Maeda and I'm a men's coach in Austin, Texas. I'm a BJJ practitioner, a Wim Hof enthusiast. I have an amazing family, four awesome boys and a beautiful wife. And what this podcast is about is about being the better man. What we talk about is tried and true because we've been doing it with groups of men just like you for over 12 years. Listen up and enjoy. So something that everybody seems to talk about is should I get married? Is it worth it? Why would somebody, why would a male get married these days? We hear women talk about this. We hear men talk about this. We hear the manosphere blow up about it. But if we just listen to that, if we only take away that, and we live what is said in there, we're gonna screw everything up. If you're a man and you go through life 
there's going to be times that are filled with seduction, filled with love, filled where you meet a woman, you get swept off of your feet. And all of this idea, all of these things, no matter how much you're trained, no matter how much red pill stuff you read or whatever it is, you're going to become drunk with love. You're going to be somebody that is not going to be able to think straight about what is happening. And it's so easy and it's beautiful and it's a great thing and we're meant to have it and it's one of the greatest experiences that you're gonna have in your life of where you wanna give yourself completely to a woman. And see, we have these arguments about monogamy, non-monogamy, polyamory and all these different things. And the more that we try and put sexuality and relationships in a box that we can control, the more we confuse ourselves with it, the more we build rules around it. And you see this happen with polyamorous relationships. You see this happen with uh, religions and cultures that try and control sex. See, sex always wins. But what we don't realize in that is in part of the equation of what it means to be a man, to be sexual, to be somebody that is going to have an experience with women is that we're going to get swept away in that. And there's going to be a time where we want to dedicate our lives to her. And oftentimes we do. And oftentimes that results in a relationship. It could result in the marriage. It could result in kids. It could result in, in a long-term fling or whatever you want to call it. But the fact of the matter is, is that experience happens. And if we deny it, we're not telling the full story of what it means to be a man. And this is one of the tragedies that happens with so much of the, the advice that we get out there. Whether that advice comes from uh, just men's development in general, or it comes out of the pickup scene, or it comes out of the manosphere scene, which is the whole red pill and MGTOW and moving on to all these like crazy radical groups that are, are speaking not from experience. And where we need to get to as men is we need to start speaking from that experience. And so check this out. Look, we have a lot of guys who are a part of our groups and a part of our calls. We're on a call right now that say that, that have been married, they get divorced and they're like, man, I'm never getting married again. And some of them don't say that, but there's a lot of guys that speak that language. Now, if you've never been married, if you haven't really been in a long-term relationship or, you know, maybe you have been, but it just never got that exterior, that serious where you tied the knot and there's other variables in it too. You hear that. You hear what that man says and you go, man, it's not worth it to be married. A woman just steals all your money. She, she's hypergamous. She does all this stuff and blah, 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 blah. And it, it just, the courts, you know, are not in the advantage of men and why would you even get married too? Because then legally you're signing away X, Y, and Z, yada, yada, yada. And this could all be true. These are all facts that could make sense. These are all facts. These are all experiences that people are going to tell you. But when you get swept off your feet, when you make love to a woman and she's just so good, she's just amazing, man. She just, oh, you're going to want to give your life to her. And where's that information then? Where's the story that, Many men who talk about on our calls, who are very real about it, where's the story that you hear in those different communities that say, man, but there's going to be a time where you just want to give yourself to a woman and go ahead and give it, <clears throat> see what it feels like, see where it gets you. In fact, there was a guy who was on the call earlier tonight and he was saying, man, I just, I need to tell my girlfriend this because it's this experience in my life that I not to get too personal on it, but a lot of us were like, hey, man, that's a bad idea. You shouldn't say that to her. But this is a repeat pattern for you and you keep wanting to talk about it. So why don't you go ahead and say it? Because you need to learn what it means or why that might be wrong. Why we are saying that that's not a move that a guy should be doing in a relationship in your situation. But you don't know why that is yet. See, the experience of where this is all coming from is so vitally important in it. Now. On the flip side to this, I have a wife. I have an amazing family. This is a huge part of my story. Now, I also have a unique situation. I spent years of my life, I spent a decade basically, well, not a decade, maybe a little bit less, but basically having all the sexual experiences that I want, all the relationships that I wanted, hundreds of these different types of relationships that I had with women and everything you could imagine completely satiated completely something that I was fulfilled by and understood to a high degree the things I didn't like, the things I did like. And I don't want to hate on any of those things because they're really great. I mean, when a lot of people talk about polyamory versus monogamy, I have lived that to a high degree. 
And one is not better than the other. The reason why I choose monogamy now is because there's a whole bunch of other things going on and that's a personal choice based off of experience. And I would still say it's not necessarily the reason why I am experiencing that to live by the ideology of monogamy, but more to live by the commitment that <clears throat> I've made for my family and for my wife. In other instances, I haven't done that. And I've done the opposite of that. That all being said, there are great things about being in a relationship where you're married. There are things that perhaps you could do legally that could minimize some of the stuff that you're talking about, right? You can go through, well, maybe not in Texas because there's common law marriage and it's really crazy. I mean, like, it's almost like if you guys just have live together for less than a week or I don't know, I'm not a lawyer, but it, but basically you can inherit all of the, the legal obligations of being married while being in Texas. If you just have this kind of situation, <clears throat> what's interesting about all of this is that oftentimes we hear a fantasy about either one, why you shouldn't be married. The reason why is, is because of power, because of control, because men need to be men. This is why you shouldn't be married, because you give that up. And as a man, your legacy, your power, your blah, 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 your fantasy about what masculinity is, because you don't experience it, but you know you want to feel it. You see it off in the distance. You basically believe in this lie that's being told, a fairy tale about what masculinity is and what marriage is is or isn't and you being independent from it or perhaps you might hear i need to be married because of that legacy and whatever stuff that men who don't have experience in their lives talk about but then also you hear this other thing of how great it is to be married and we the fantasy of that and what it means to be a family man and how that's respectable and da 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 and it very well may be but i'll tell you this i'm a family man i live for my family it's a big thing that's my choice. That has nothing to do with you. That has nothing to do with my public persona. That has nothing to do with anybody's opinion. And that's really what it means for me to be a family man is that that is the most important function in my life. And I need to do what is necessary to make that a part of our lives. That my actions affect a unit of six different individuals. And that is very, very important. Now, again, People might respect that. People may not respect that. But that has nothing to do with me or the phenomenon of me doing that. And this is perhaps what is most important about the whole idea of a relationship. Is that you and that woman make the rules. See, I know this is like an advice piece where you're searching for an answer perhaps on what is right marriage or not marriage or whatever. And man, you can make that decision, but the right decision is the decision that you choose with the people in your life that includes them, that has the benefit for all of you guys. And that is what is important. See, because within that, because within that thing that can never go away, you and your experience of being you, that is where all of the fulfillment, all of the happiness and all of the answers that you're looking for of is this the right decision or is this the wrong decision are going to come from. And that is what I can only encourage you to be a part of. Guys, man, I cannot encourage you enough to be a part of a group and a part of a group that unifies on men's development, excellence, being the better man. You know, so whatever your journey is, there's gonna be some things that are very consistent in your life, like how to get in the best shape, how to date the best, how to find the right wife or not find the right wife and have the best sort of life part and so on. What happens when you have kids? These things that men go through are so common and yet we almost ignore them in our society and culture, which is really, really sad. Anyway, guys, that's what Austin Men's Development is all about. Hopefully you take us up on that journey and not just watch these videos or listen to these podcasts on iTunes, but actually come and follow what we're doing at the free Austin Men's Development Facebook group or even better, get on the calls, man. Get in the local meetups. Got to be a part of MD Excellence or sign up for our Austin Locals programs and so on. But man, it is so gosh darn good.
gosh darn good. Thank you also so much. We hit over 7,000 subscribers when I started adding YouTube videos again about a year and a half ago. I only had 2,000, so that's pretty cool to see that grow, to see a fan base coming in, to get your comments coming in, and just getting to know you guys through one more venue of media. Let's get to some fancy stuff. Man and wife, say man and wife, 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 wife.